Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be rigging this character that we made last time. This is supposed to be for our enemy in our FPS game series. First what you want to do is um, press shift A and then go armature and then just go single bone. If you don't see it that's probably because you need to go to your bones tab and or armature tab sorry and then go x-ray here and you'll be able to see it. Now what I want to do is uh, press shift tab so I can move on the grid and then press G and Z and try to move it like this so it's kind of flat on the x-axis. If it's not flat then just go shift tab and move it manually like this. Something like that would work. And now we can take this first bone, go into edit mode, select it and move it up like this. So what we'll need is a torso bone like this. I will go ahead, press E to extrude and then Z to extrude on the Z axis. Extrude to around the arm height right here. Extrude the neck and then extrude the head. If you press 3 on the numpad you can go into a side view. Maybe you want to move these a bit. I don't so we're all good. Now what you can do is go to this joint right here. Press E. Extrude to the kind of middle of the arm. And press E once more to extrude to around the elbow. Now you can exit out of the edit mode and go into edit mode uh, on the arm. And you can see where the the arm should bend. And then just go ahead and try to place it right there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, it needs to be close. Extrude once more for the arm. And you can check for that, that's pretty good. And extrude once more for the hand. Like that, that's pretty good for the arms. What I want to do is make the legs now, so go here to this joint, press E. And then just move it to around the middle of the leg. It doesn't have to be perfect, it needs to be close. And then you can go extrude once for the upper leg, extrude twice for the lower leg. And then extrude once more. And I'm going to go to side view with three on the, on the numpad and kind of move it like this. Now what I like to do is move this a bit forward so it's kind of bended. I also like to do that for the arms. Move it a bit backwards like that. Next we need to name the bones so you can expand this just so it's a bit easier. And now you can start naming the bones. So if you select the bone in edit mode, you will see it will be highlighted. And I will call this one lower torso, I guess. This will be the upper torso. Then we got the neck. And also the head. Then we got the shoulder dot L. Then we got the upper arm dot L. Also the lower arm dot L and the hand dot dot L. We got the hip dot L, the upper leg dot L, then the lower leg dot L, and also the foot dot L. Now what you want to do to mirror this, you can just go and press C and then select all the bones you want to mirror, so all the leg and the arm bones, and then just press W and symmetrize, and now it will flip them over and it will also rename them. What I want to make sure is that the bones are parented right, so I will select this uh, hip bone and then the next hip bone and then this lower torso bone, press Ctrl P and press keep offset, that's very important. Also do the same thing for the arms, but parent them to the upper torso. So just control P and you can see they're already parented. And this is pretty much our rig. If you press control tab or actually it's control tab for me, I don't know if it's for you. Go to pose mode and now you can start moving the uh, arms, the legs and everything. And see if everything works correct. If everything's parented nicely like this and it is. It mine works pretty well. Um, and it will work well for the weight painting because it's a very blocky character. But we will be doing that in the next episode. 
for this one we're pretty much done i just want to rename the armature to like human armature and that's it for this episode in the next one we'll be weight painting and hopefully i'll see you then don't forget to save your file because that's very important and uh, tell your friends leave a like comment down below if you have any suggestions subscribe follow my social media you can go follow me on my patreon and hopefully i'll see you next time bye bye